Hello, my name is Keith Lockberg, Product Line Manager at LeGrand Pass and Seymour for Lighting Controls. Today we're going to talk about the basics of sensors um, and the overall technologies that we use here at Pass and Seymour. There's two main technologies that are in the industry uh, that we use here at Pass and Seymour, and that's passive infrared PIR, which sees uh, the object in line of sight and it detects the heat going across the different segments. The segments are created through the lens of the product. Uh, which is detected to keep the lights on. We also use ultrasonic, which is similar to uh, a fish finder. It uses uh, sound waves and a Doppler uh, technology to detect motion. When we look at sensors, uh, there's different kind of mounting styles or types that you could use. They all have advantages to them and are used in specific applications. So if we look first at the wall mount, this is very convenient and easy because it goes into an existing wall box where you may have a switch to together today. This allows a quick, easy uh, installation. Um, the positive of it is it's great for small offices uh, and rooms where you don't have a lot of nooks and crannies. Uh, very easy to install in one of our most popular sensors. This is our PIR WSP250 sensor. Uh, it's very uh, well received in the marketplace. So turning here, you can see different mounting styles. You can see our corner mount sensor, which is great for long corridors, um, hallways, uh, with our hallway version. We also have a wide angle version, which is great for classrooms. Uh, this keeps it under anything that may be hanging from the ceiling. You can keep the sensing technology below it so you don't get false triggers from anything like a mobile or something like that in a classroom that could trigger the, the lights to go on when they really shouldn't be on. So this is a, a good option uh, to keep it at the right height uh, if you have high ceilings and you don't have a sensor that can go up that high. If we look into the ceiling sensors, here we have a passive infrared sensor, uh, which is great for conference rooms or uh, large offices. We have ultrasonic, which is great for larger rooms that have nooks and crannies, maybe a nurse's station or a little kitchenette, um, or you have a lot of minor motion with the fingers. Um, because of the technology, it picks up the minor motion a little better and doesn't need line of sight to do that. But again, when we combine both technologies, we have both passive infrared and ultrasonic in one unit. This gives you the most complete coverage with the least amount of false triggers. Uh, we use PIR technology to trigger the sensor, and then we use both technologies to maintain the lights on. So it gets, catches both the minor motion and major motion, um, really maximizing uh, your coverage. So if we look at our residential sensors, you know, we have a, a, they all look pretty much similar. Uh, we try to keep a consistent look in our residential offering. Uh, up here you have your vacancy sensor, which remember we spoke about a little earlier, is you have to manually turn the sensor on, and then when it doesn't detect motion, it will turn them off typically within 30 minutes or a preset time that you determine. The OX sensor, or occupancy sensor, detects the occupancy in, it's auto on, so the lights will go on when you enter the room, and when it doesn't detect motion within that room, it will turn them off in that preset time. Again, typically 30 minutes or less or the, whatever you desire. If you look down here, what we've done is we've been able to combine both the ambiance and benefits of a dimmer with our sensor. So not only do you get the energy savings of a sensor and a dimmer put together, but now you can control the light to have a light level that you feel is the right ambiance for the space that you're in. So as you can see, LeGrand Pass and Seymour has a wide offering of sensing technology products today. To find out more about these products, please visit the website at www.legrand.us under the Pass and See More tab. Here you'll be able to find more technical information as well as features and benefits of each of these products. And to purchase these products, please visit your local authorized Pass and See More distributor.